In the fourth quarter, Mauritius business confidence indicator rose by 3.5% due to positive assessments of future prospects and an improvement in the assessments of the current economic situation. Uh, Radu Jadu, who is the Secretary General of the Mauritius Chamber of Commerce and Industry, joins us to look at the interest of the business community in economic development of the country. Uh, Radu, thank you so much for making the time to join us today. I think uh, maybe let's talk about the mandate of the Chamber of Commerce and how you have been aligning or positioning yourself with government? Well, I think the mandate of the chamber goes back to 1850. So 165 years ago, we were fighting for market access. We were fighting for infrastructure. We were fighting for connectivity. The issues, unfortunately, are still the same. But, you know, the means are different. Uh, so having said that, we basically uh, have always been uh, by the side of government on all the trade negotiations, uh, on all policy measures, policy formulation. So there's a very good relationship between the public and private sector, which I would even say is symbiotic. Mm -hmm. And this, I think, has helped us to weather the storm over the years. Jadi, you mentioned that there are still some challenges and there's some problems. Are you able to highlight what exactly is top of your agenda when it comes to some of the problems that you're seeing? Sure. I think uh, over the last uh, few years, we have been focusing on the ease of doing business. But I think more importantly is the cost of doing business. So while business is good for Mauritius, we must ensure that uh, Mauritius is good for business, which means that we need to relentlessly try and lower uh, the cost of doing business because we're operating in uh, global value chains. So to export efficiently, you also need to have an efficient import strategy. Therefore, the port is absolutely critical in terms of the supply chain and logistics. So we need to focus more in terms of the expansion plan, in terms of productivity, and I think uh, this is really a very, very important uh, uh, aspect for the Mauritian business community at large. How are you addressing this problem? Well, there's been a major uh, capital expenditure program uh, following the latest uh, port master plan. So we are now equipping ourselves to uh, you know, uh, be able to have the large container ships now berthing in Mauritius. So we are trying to uh, increase capacity and we believe that uh, through volume and through transshipment, eventually we're going to lower the unit cost when it comes to imports. I'm um, just uh, having a look at the ease of doing business report for 2014. And it showed that in Africa, Mauritius was still rated number one in your 20th in the world. This should make it easy for foreign direct investment. Have you been seeing an increase of that coming through? Well, as a matter of fact, I think uh, it's a good measure, but it is not an absolute measure. And I think that um, as businesses around the world, we face lots of issues uh, which we are addressing. So it's a good benchmark, but by no means, you know, it is the only measure that actually investors will be looking at when they decide to locate their business in Mauritius. Mm -hmm. But it's a good benchmark to have. It helps in terms of progress and especially highlight the areas where are weaknesses and where we need policy responses. Maybe talking about some of those weaknesses, let's talk about the entrepreneurship spirit in Mauritius. It has been said that it is quite conservative. What are you doing as the Chamber of Commerce and Industry to foster a more innovative and a more aggressive stance when it comes to entrepreneurship? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, Mauritius is a nation of entrepreneurs because if you look at uh, private sector investment as part of total investment, it's very, very high. So the government, uh, you know, obviously uh, invests in infrastructure, but most of the businesses are private held. So uh, we are very dynamic and we're also very dynamic uh, with our brothers and sisters, companies in Africa. And Mauritius uh, has got a huge uh, outward uh, investment strategy and a, a Mauritius Africa Fund has just been launched uh, yesterday by the Deputy Prime Minister to foster even more uh, investment into uh, ventures, uh, uh, you know, in the region. So we are firm believers of regional integration, how do we work together, how do we broaden this economic space, and I think we are, you know, we are pretty much gung-ho when it comes to, uh, you know, working in the region. Jadu, where are we seeing a, a lot of this investment going? I mean, which sectors are specifically gaining a lot of traction? Well, just to give you an example, you know, right now, uh, textile uh, in Madagascar is big. Uh, sugar sector in, uh, on the East, in East African countries is fairly significant. Energy projects from South Sudan coming down is very much prevalent. And you know, we are actually developing a seafood hub as far as Gabon. Now, because we are bilingual, so we have got this language ability. And uh, for us, it's very easy to actually move around and actually conduct business, whether it's uh, West Africa or East Africa.
Well, Jaru, thank you so much for making the time to join us today and giving us an insight on the business climate over in Mauritius. That was Raju Jadu, who's the Secretary General of the Mauritius Chamber of Commerce.